hot water heater for a um, residential home. We have the incoming wire here, the pigtail here, which feeds the breaker box over here, as one can see. And we have here, here, we have a hot this and that. And then it's gonna be 220, so we're gonna have two hots, 120 on one leg and 120 on the other leg. And then obviously we have the little ground screw here and the ground screw is just for the uh, the uh, grounding wire here simply. So this will connect to one leg, this will connect to the other leg. I'm not sure if it really matters which which leg is which because what we're doing with these we're actually um, lighting up the element and we have an upper element and then a lower element. So again, again, this is uh, 220. Normally it's a run off of, a, say, a, a number 10 wire. And um, then it goes back to the breaker box. And uh, normally it should be on a 30 amp breaker. So um, again, a 30 amp breaker, which feeds, uh, which is, um, should be a double pole breaker. Then it feeds over here. And again, it feeds here and here. These tie up on your hots. This ties up on your ground wire. This is in case you get a short. So, and again, we have a hot here and a hot here. If somebody knows any different, if I'm in error, please do feel free to add this to the comments because we all learn from each other. So, um, but again, one hot here, we're gonna pull 120 on this leg, perhaps 120 on this leg. And what it'll do, it'll heat one element up, heat it up, then it'll go out, then the other element will go out. So the element will come on and the water should get hot. This is an electric hot water heater. This is not a gas, so an, an electric hot water heater. And um, again, 120, 120 equals 240. One ground wire, in case we get a short, the ground normally is always green. Just remember it's always green, and it should be your naked wire right here. And then these, this wire here and this wire here will connect. So you just have to be sure that you throw the breaker. And normally, a lot of these hot water heaters are 30 amp on a 30 amp circuit. So they're 30 amp and feed a number 10. So a lot of times they're a double pole breaker. So... Um, be sure to check your electricity because uh, this is high voltage and high voltage is, it can, um, it can bite you if you're not careful. So um, again, um, 30 amp breaker feeding up through a juncture box. Then when they feed the juncture box, they have, sometimes we call this a whip and heating and air conditioning. And then it comes down and they've got a little plate here that feeds this and then they have it wire nutted here. This is the other half of the plate. So again, so, and then we'll tie one on here. And I like to take my wires and wind them around each other instead of just putting them adjacent and put the wire nuts. I like to make sure that I have a good solid connection. So anyway, this is how you uh, wire up a, an electrical, um, uh, electric hot water heater like a 40 50 gallon somewhere thereabouts thank you for watching if you uh like this video please like share and subscribe thank you and have a wonderful day